Hello and welcome once again, my friends. Habage here. How y'all doing? Freaky Friday. Let's go. How's everybody doing? Man, I missed you guys yesterday. Sorry about that. I, uh, man, I just got pulled. Um, got to be mid to late afternoon or whenever it was that I dropped the tree. I, I guess I knew I was going and it, it got late enough in my day that, uh, I, I was just like, I, I'm not going to go late night. So, uh, sorry about that, but uh, we're back, and we got a villager trading hall to get built. Let's kick this off. Uh, get our world 42 loaded up here. We should be uh, at the creeper farm, unless I'm greatly mistaken. Um, let's get that loaded up here. We're going to pull down some more creepers, get a bit more XP as we go, get started here. You guys make yourself comfy cozy. I will be back in uh, like 15 seconds today, I'm guessing. That took me a lot longer. Wow. So along the way, I realized I had to get my phone, and then I couldn't find it. Because, this is kind of exciting, uh, my buddy has... Um, sorry. <laughs> As you can see, I'm still in the midst of everything. nonsense okay sorry uh, trying to work out timing because my my friend one of my very good friends uh, has a, <laughs> has a son his son has a friend and his friend has a dad it's amazing how that works so they like barely know each other uh, but the last time when we were at the CU spring game and it was a snowy cold Saturday uh, we were hanging out because both their kids wanted to go to the game. And uh, the dad was like, oh, yeah, play, uh, play in a band. We do live music and stuff. And so tonight, that guy is playing at a cool outdoor spot. It's not super smoky out. It's, uh, it's just basically nice. So uh, looking forward to that. Trying to coordinate all the times and all that. And it's going to make us a little bit clipped on our timing here. But we'll be all right. Don't you guys worry. We'll figure it out. Look at that. We're building up still. All right. Well, this was uh, this was just our starting stopping spot. Uh, come on in. Say hello in the chat. Shout out to all the new people. A um, couple new subs or commenters out there in uh, YouTube's land. Appreciate you guys and thank you. Um. And uh, I think we're just still basking in the glow of the last uh, last live stream uh, when we got uh, everybody coming over with Scash. And uh, you guys were awesome. Thanks so much for hanging out. All right, let's head home and upstairs. Uh, we've spent the end of the last stream gathering up some materials. We're going to build a villager trading hall today. And... There's several things to that. Now I'm remembering we were talking about going back over to the uh, to get the tracks, but I think we can hold off on that for now, right? Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I want to do a test build, make sure I know what I'm doing and that we're setting it up right. Then we'll start the actual building. 
And at some point along the way, when that's getting old and we feel like we need a break, that's when we'll go back over to the mines, uh, take a little field trip, clear our heads, get all reset, and uh, continue to dominate. But yes, for the moment, um, I think I think we're just gonna kind of go reminder mode and see if I can if I can make this work or realize what it is we're missing. Uh, again, very clear from the very start, this is not my <laughs> my own genius creation. This is logical geek boy. If you don't know who that is. Uh, check him out on YouTube, Logical Geek Boy, all one word is his name. He's been doing this for a good long while, and he's a rock star. His farms and tutorials are top-notch, um, really, really good. So strongly recommend his stuff. So this is one of his creations. It's called a villager. Easy, I, think, I think the video is Easier Villager Trading Hall, I think is what he calls it. And he does two different, two versions. One just gets the villagers in place and set up to uh, to trade with you. And then the other, what we're going to do, also includes a uh, piece where you can infect and cure a villager of the zombie disease. And in doing that, you get uh, get better prices, right? They ha You get their gratitude and are then good to go. Now, remember, this is where we... Uh, did a bit of building before. I'm thinking maybe we should build this up above ground. Um, do I still have... I never left the ender chest or anything, so let's just bounce this over here. Uh, a little more convenient. So we'll set an ender chest. And then we have this... We have this, and uh, these are all supplies. I would like, I think I have a stone cutter over here somewhere, right? If not, we should make another one or bring one. I guess we have the one over by the librarians. Let's go get that. Also, secret, secret fun fact for folks who don't know, the whole time that we're working on all this, our cactus farm just saw a cactus go. I know there's torches a little bit in the way. Um, these cacti are growing, and there are 25 levels of them going down in a big hole in the ground. Uh, they all feed into a furnace system that will cook them. So the whole time that we're working on this project, that's just another source of XP that we can uh, be sitting on while we're waiting here. Um and now we get to use a lot more of that for, you know, fun stuff, name tags and all that kind of stuff. Yes, of course, we're going to be buying more books and applying them to shovels, uh, act more pickaxes, actually, and making our spare armor and all that. But um, we've kind of got through a lot of the just super enchanting stuff. But if we end up with like 60 levels, that's 30 bad enchant books that we can just flip through looking for the few things that we are still holding out for along the way. All right, almost back and good to go. Uh, so we're going to use this stone cutter for our sand and quartz to get better returns if we want to make custom pieces. Not too worried about that just yet, I don't think. Um, although we will need... Some slabs. All right, let's do that. Uh, now we've got a couple different colors and stuff to set up. So let's go above ground here and see if we can build this up the way that it is going to be. So this will be actually two layers down underground. And it goes... Actually, this is not. This is. Nope. This is why we try all this stuff first. So I can get it all, get it all out while it's up in the open. Then we'll tear it down and put it back. 
Sticky Piston facing up. We have Redstone that I believe goes to here. And now we've got one. And again, remember, we're going up above ground, right? So this is this is down underneath. This is going to be the level that the traders are going to stand on, right? So we can pop all this down. So Villager is going to stand right here. There is a tr job block here. Like, let's say it's a lectern, right? It's going to be a, a librarian. So lectern would be there. And then we're going to have a lever here. And if we, let, again, use your imagination. Here's, here's the villager. Oh, we can build out the rest of this stuff. Uh, so this is where where Villager is standing. We're going to have a walkway along here. Uh, we're going to have a trap door here. I got to go... There, there. Um, see, this isn't. If if it's here, no, this is too high. doesn't work does it all right let's raise that right so this is this is kind of how we preset everything right and again all underground down here but then when we want to infect a villager we pull down and the zombie that is here walks along and can do the old bitey uh, attack. Uh, or Is it right like this? I don't think, I think they've got to come down to head height. Villagers up and trading. Yeah, and he, so they do have to be up here or the, the zombie has to be up here right and then there will be is it a trap door here it's what happens when you don't think about minecraft at all for two days fee what's up fee how you been? Happy Friday to you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I think I'm... Oh, look at that. I think I'm good here. Uh, we will need... More trapdoors. That's the one thing I didn't get. Uh, I'm real good. Real good. Thanks for asking. I appreciate that. Um, is it this, though? So, <sighs> so villagers stand in here doing his trading thing. What keeps... I 
I guess it's just the... Gotta go to sleep here. Don't need to slow this part down any with uh, zombie attacks or creepers. We're just blowing up my little model. All right. So ground level, the zombie has walked down one. Uh, his is kind of a subterranean deal, and he won't... Uh, when they're up like this, he won't see the heads, so he won't attack the villager. Right? Is that right? And then when we lower... Just let me hit the... Let me hit the lever. Why can't I hit the lever now? Dude! What? Get out of here. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Alright, so now it goes down. And then he goes face to face with the zombie. The zombie then, want, like when it's just feet, for whatever reason, the zombie doesn't care. He doesn't want to attack. But here he'll see feet. And there will be a whole row. And the zombie can move from foot to foot like this right zombie can't go anywhere he'll be closed into his little area villagers will be trapped because this will be their uh floor right all the ground level is here so they're going to pop up and they won't be able to go anywhere and when they come down the trap door holds them here the zombie can still attack over the top and infect them but otherwise they're clear and good to go. And again, this is that's a job block. Uh, these are all open, and the zombie can look up and down the row. We probably will fill these in, actually. A uh, little secret there is that um, one of the things that can slow down the efficiency of it is the zombie getting distracted by us right if we're here flipping the lever and there's just job blocks and half slabs the um the zombie is likely to see us and want to attack us and he'll just stand there and ignore everybody else trying to get to us but if this ends up being like a whole counter uh of shop stalls right and they're all set up in it we can go now what we may do I think this is the mechanics, but I guess the the other part, which I should definitely um, definitely because it's actually the the tougher part. So then the next piece we're gonna need are the ceilings, right? Um, so then. You know, zombies in here, great. This all is sealed off. I'm gonna have to just kind of go with me here. All right, so the, none of this matters at this point, right? We've got, uh, we don't even need to have a zombie in there yet, but we're, we've got a whole row of these little shop stalls built up, and now we want to populate them, right? And uh, there is... Is it like they got to be able to walk along at that height to fall? So, oh, that's not right. Is this the observer height here? Yeah, here we go. So then, out. This is the observer. Uh, I 
I think I think it's backwards like that. <sighs> I should have just dug the hole, spending more time hopping around. So is this the observer correctly placed? Uh, that we got to have it powering it goes to here to here and then This is where I want it. There, there, there. Um, and we got to remember how to set it to trigger, right? Should I should have just looked at this instead I didn't even <laughs> haven't even done anything uh Minecrafty in days. There I don't know that we're right yet. Uh, I don't... That's not doing anything either. Uh, I didn't make spares with all these. First of all, most of most of this has gotten wrecked. Um, I think we got all the we got all the I've got all this. Uh, I wouldn't be at all surprised if you guys are like, "What the heck is going on here?" Uh, that all makes sense. I, that part's always generally easy. Let's just make sure we can figure out the observers so if we do an observer Observe me.
What are you playing with your dad? Like a Minecraft game or something? Like multiplayer? That would be cool, man. I, maybe that is, isn't, I don't know. Maybe it was some other game. <laughs> was it as hilarious as me not remembering how to make observers work? Um, does it have to be above? Like, what if we do that? Sometimes there's just weird stuff like this. But I don't even see that the observer is observing. I did it which time? This, I think, is what we need for blocks. Observe me! Oh. Okay. Wait, it did observe. Okay, so it is definitely observing on this side. I don't know why these are always so... All right. But now, why... Get in there, guys. Trust me. If this... Then when... Like that? Oh, now it's not working. Damn it. Okay, that's the power. But now why is it not... Why doesn't it stay out now? So that would go grab it and pull it back. But when they go in, it's supposed to stay shut. 
That goes there, and this goes here. And then that goes there. And then we... Oh, there's already... God. Yeah, you know, unset the whole thing now. Uh, that... That... Move this again. And now if we put the string, that should grab it. And then if the villager... Oh, it's not going to do the one... Then if the villager comes walking along, obviously from the other direction, falls through here... Oh, that worked! Awesome. Okay. So that's basically what we need to remember for our setup over here, right? Good. Okay, now we've got some... Uh, some work to do under the floor. Do I have, like, spare... I might have spare stuff right over here. Oh, really? Okay. Uh... It's fun while it lasted. This is this is Science Park over here, right? This is where we learned the ways of the uh, cactus farm. Okay, I think that sets us up to begin. Right? We've got... Oh, I remade it. All the stuff. Um... What if we try to there? Ironic, I know that we were just looking for more dirt and stone, and now we're going to piles of it. Uh, well, is what it is. So we'll count it back from the lake shore. Now, uh, crap, I just, just realized something. I think I'm building this, 
hopefully the those will maybe fit under the trees. I might have to move the trees out a little bit or reshape them. Um But yeah, this is going to be our under the lever. And I I kind of think we just uh, I, Oh, you know what I'm doing. Well, let's give that an edge. Because uh, we'll want to build some outer stuff. Five? Or six? Six. I can count. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And we still got a little cushion over here. Sun's getting a little low. Let's be prepared for it. All right. Then on this side, again, sticky, pistony. Dude, no, it's it's too far over. I think we gotta move out the uh, move out the deal. Here we go, pushing the bedtime late again. We'll move them, move them one more. See if that sets us. Oh my god, I almost dumped my whole chair. Got slid back somehow, and I was like, oh man, I'm sitting like right on the edge. And then I tried to move it forward, I almost dumped the whole thing. <clears throat> okay. These all go. I've gone too, too deep. Because these sit even with the, um, the sticky pistons. Oh, was that all my... Ah, dang it. That's why you never use, never use cobblestone when you use dirt. By the way, this is not a logical geek, uh, geek boy tutorial. Go watch his. It's way better. He probably, when he makes his tutorials, uh, does a little practicing. Make sure he's got everything he needs ready to go. Nope, not me. Uh, do we have dirt? Why did dirt and dirt not stack up? Come on, dirt. All right, so we're going to go in a little bit. Three, four, five, six, eight, and ten. And then on the ends of all these, why do I have... Oh, because we left the working example, right? All of these... And then dirt in between. Cool, right? So this is job blocks, this is levers, and uh, they're all good to go. So... I think uh, other than I'm going to leave holes to make sure I know where the sticky pistons are. So 
so I can put the levers in. Okay, so now we go levers. Oh, dang it. Um, one thing I had thought to do, and I, I'm glad I caught it now. Uh, I want to extend this further and put in some partitions. Okay, so I think that was the last one. Uh, so let's do this. This shouldn't be too terrible. Get you. You. And then we'll dirt. I don't think this is gonna mess anything up too badly. You know, that worked out okay. This less so. So the idea being that we can kind of divide up categories just a little bit more than we have in the past. <clears throat> Get rid of some of this garbage. I think we I think we got that first part figured out. As usual, it should come quicker. I can go away. And uh we'll leave a stack of dirt. Although I I honestly I don't think we want it. Now. Uh, we'll get some space back here from the levers. And I'm now I'm wondering, do I want to reverse these? I kind of think I do. That doesn't seem like the right tool. These levers are just tough. Maybe hoe is the correct tool for a lever? So if we do them from here, they'll face us. And then when we... Actually, are they doing anything different, or do they just? So the question is, do I want to? I... <laughs> a 
which way do I want the the lever to face normally? I think I want the lever to be like this when the villager is up. We go like this. Now the piston is extended, hopefully. And then we go like this. We then reach forward and pull the lever when we want them to go down to zombie infestation level, right? We got third day in a row. We're getting thunderstorm in the middle of the day crazy okay so these are going to be our stalls right oh good and then I think uh, we may do actually I think I think I want to do I don't even have a furnace in there. Oh my god. Um, do we well I can borrow some, I guess. So let's do this. Also, since I'm in here, uh we need one extra. And we do need and the gate. At least one. A couple, maybe. Uh, that is for our zombie, eventually. Alright, for anybody who hasn't seen the basement of the cactus farm, here we go, because we're going to borrow some of the coal blocks out of it. Uh, I'm going to make some smooth, some smooth redstone, or red to sandstone blocks to settle everything in. And I think those will be our facing blocks. Yeah, so we can do that. And, and we're doing all right. This is unplanned, but I'm a little worried. Ooh, look at all that. That's some good stuff we got. Lots of green dye. All right, that will give that enough time to continue to run outside of us. Let's take this upstairs. I, I don't know why I have it. I guess I'd left it in case I wanted to make extra stuff. Um, we can certainly put a couple more chests in here uh, just for overflow dye if it comes down to that but uh, lots of cacti lots of cacti in the hopper we can flip the switch here fee and um, when I then pull out a green dye watch our 29 there uh, we have five levels and then if we switch that back, um, that stopped the cactus, made them stay in the furnace. Now each cactus will fall through as green dye once it's cooked, and all that XP continues to build up. So five, five good levels there. Um, we'll just see what we can get for the rest of it when we build here. So bonus, that, that's exactly why we built this here where we did. So it can be loaded and running while we're doing our thing. And I also wanted to bring some of these tor or these uh, chests over here just so we have a dump uh, area for 
the stuff we're not actively using but could be or may need to be. And then we've got this furnace and we're going to use it with a single block of coal uh, to cook a full stack. That'll get smoothified. Uh, I am bummed. I, I will start the rant now and spare you all. You can't make smooth sandstone or red sandstone um, walls. Uh, I think we can make slabs once they're cooked, so we can do some of that with the stairs and everything. Um, but we can't make walls, so like at the farm and all that, it's a, no a little annoying. Uh, you have to go back to the regular red sandstone for that. Anyway, um, what I'm thinking here is that we'll have our quartz, and it will be our... Um, kind of accent right because again mall thinking mall here I don't know how it's all going to get built up but I think that these will be our uh, oh I skipped one here our kind of showpiece dividers and remember the line of sight stuff we talked about that's all back and forth in here um, not so much in the others while we're waiting for that red sandstone let's go ahead and dig this out we'll put another block in underneath uh, just to pretty this up a bit um, but we're basically making a zombie enclosure so it doesn't have to be uh, too gorgeous And then we'll cap these ends and everything too. But uh, and of course now I have uh, no good blocks. But how about some stone? That didn't go very far. Just uh, yeah, here we go. All right. So this is where our zombie friends' feet are going to be. And then as we talked about, along this edge, these are the blocks that get dropped. And I kind of got to go there, there, no, oh man. There. I guess the last time we slept was a storm. Not, not full night time. It is night. Close enough. Making good progress. Now, this back bit. Will kind of be visible from the, I mean, it more or less will be visible from the shopping side. So we don't want it to just be dirt for sure, but it doesn't have to be fancy. Uh, finished smooth stone redstone stuff, right? So that can go in there, and then I think we'll cap it here, right? He doesn't even, it really, he doesn't even need to get to here. Uh, so that could get built in as well. Uh, zombie just needs to be able to move the length of our friends. Um, the main, main focus is going to be that they can see the job blocks all the way across to there okay um 
I guess maybe it is time to think about blocks as in what kind do we want in our stores here? Um, even though we already have two, uh, I think that uh, farmers would be good to have uh, because we're going to cure these so we'll get much better prices on, than our original ones. And uh, we still need somebody to start buying pumpkins from us, right? So we're in a little bit of luck there. Um, the others that I'd love to do are Fletchers and Butchers. Um, but it's gonna it's gonna probably come down to how long it takes us to get pumpkins. Uh, to determine if we do two or four butchers. Uh, I, I'm kind of earmarking that we have two Fletchers because they're so good with sticks. They take sticks, string, and flint. So those are all three things that we're just going to be stockpiling uh, extras of. Really good to get rid of. Um, and... Um, I don't know. I don't know that we need extra butchers. So probably what we do here is go uh, like three farmers or four, four ultimately, but we may be doing up to six farmers, two butchers, and two Fletchers. Uh, and then it's just a matter of like positioning, right? Like maybe it would be nicer to have a butcher on each side of these um i don't know but uh hopefully in thinking we've now cooked our smooth stone some of it i know i know it's not actually smooth stone just everybody calm down And then, now we really want to know if this is, a big kicker. All right, we can do this, see, no walls, which I don't understand. Why can't you have a nice, smooth red sandstone wall? Seems like a totally possible thing to do. Um, I mean, this isn't going to make any sense. I, I'm trying to trying to think as we go here. How could we better deal with the... Um, the XP, right? Because when we're standing out here, there's job blocks here. So I guess I, guess I really shouldn't even be doing this yet. Uh, but all the XP tends to get bottled up. And... Um, I guess we could do, we could do slab or trap doors all along here and make like wooden counters.
do know we gotta do this. Alright. Okay. <laughs> no, no. It's, it, the indecision is brutal. I, I know it probably for you guys too. It's like, oh, come on, man. Just hurry up. But I want it to look good. Um, and I think... Uh, I think it may be time to go for a swim. Uh, we did get the rest of those. These seeds out of the way. I think we had... I don't know what we have anywhere anymore. Nothing worthwhile. Some slabs, but not enough. Uh, I also think we got to get spruce. You would think after having just done that uh, that creeper farm that I had the, the trap doors that we put up a million times totally memorized, but I can't remember. Dirt, stone, shaved acacia, or... No, that's the uh, trimmed logs or whatever, right? That's not even shaved. Um, um, this is one that's possible. What did I just do with that? Come in here. So those get, uh, they're, they're very much like the light oak. Um, but I think they're, they're a little more solid. Uh, we'll keep them. We, that's something to consider here shortly. Um... Kind of feels like I should have this consolidated. Uh, it's dark oak. Dang it! I was hoping that was spruce. Um, okay, nothing, nothing else in there. Uh, nothing in there. <laughs> Come on. Uh. Well, we got 29. What does that get us? Four. Oh, it's going to be one short, isn't it? Dang it. Right back where we started. We'll, we'll make extra then. Go. Uh, six composters. All right, really need to go to sleep. Although I've got my golems over here to protect us. All right, so that, what is a smoker? Uh... Logs and a furnace. All right, well, we still have... 
get out. Still have some plenty of stone. What did I do with that cobble? Here's some cobble. All right, so we need two furnaces. It's getting crowded. Zoop. Zoop. And then... Um... Yeah, this is really a mess. Oh, I don't need the... Can switch this for this. Make the smokers. Snidge? Again, I just said a storm has rolled in. It is super dark in here now. And my keyboard has no definition of the keys. All right. These all go. Um, and then what is the fletching table thing? Flint. Don't know if I have any of that laying around here. All right, well, we'll have to go back for that, but I want to get spruce as well because I want to look at the spruce trapdoors. I think they may make the best countertop. Ooh. Hang on a second. Be right back. I cracked the door, but I also uh, had to turn on the light. <laughs> it was it was like such study rumbling thunder. It wasn't like at all like the previous storm where it's been uh, cracks and th crashes and all that stuff. No, this was very chill, but it was like that. And we're not a big tornado place around here at all. Like, you know, I've got family in the Midwest. I grew up in... Uh, In Minnesota, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we go here, here. Crops are always going to be the one, like, if we want to make emeralds, crops are our way to go. Uh, we got almost, almost endless bone meal. We've got uh, supplies just always going. All right, and then we'll put the Fletchers in the middle. Uh, but that'll give us kind of our food-based guys, and then two, two in the middle that aren't so much. Fishermen would make sense there too, but uh, we're gonna build another section eventually, right? We're gonna set this all up with uh, with our next one. So we still have slabs, and we need. To finish these out. But now, as you can see, one of the big problems here, yes, some XP will come back up over these boxes, but they're kind of stuck, right? If we do this... Uh, the XP will come much more completely. Yes, the zombies can see us better. But, or the zombie. So I guess the two, there's two possibilities here, right? One is I could keep the color and just put these as like divider slabs like that. That's one option. Let's put that there. And then 
the other, which I know it's way incomplete, and I don't even know that I want to use this as the material for it, but the other is that we could do a countertop across the whole top. It'll keep the visibility. It keeps them from getting in and out. They can't they can't jump up over this at all. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm very torn. If you guys have uh Oh what about this? Oh I just just thought of it. We can do both. I want to do both. I want to have it all. What if we do this and pop these guys here? The XP can still flow underneath. It ties up our Jenny. How the heck you doing? Happy Friday. <laughs> I need to remember one there. All right, we need... The, did I end up with any extras out of this? So we need a few more. Oh, so glad you're here. Hope you're doing awesome. And then we need just something to set this on. Like this. Oh, no! No, no, no! No, no! That's why I'm always afraid of swinging the pickaxe around in here. Um... Fortunately, the sticky piston remained up, so that's all good. So we we need to make two fletching tables. That's easy back at base, and I want to get I want to get spruce wood instead of dark oak. Although that doesn't look bad. Um, we could go dark oak. I I'd, I'd like to at least get some spruce. We won't make a bunch, but we'll make enough to compare, and then. Uh, we got all the dark oak back over there if we want to uh, change plans. All right. Um, that can now sit. I, I don't know why I was worried about it burning up extra pieces of it. Uh, this can all get consolidated. That'll give us back a lot of extra space. And let's actually put that in. Uh, we'll put you back away, but I'm a little afraid of the smooth. I'll lose it. Okay, let's go home. I am good. I, I'm i busy. We've got a little thunderstorm going outside, so I just opened up the opened up the door. Got very dark. Um, uh, I, I was kind of bummed out. I didn't get to stream yesterday. Um, I wanted to, but it uh, got... Um... My day got busy, and then uh, it got late enough when I was considering it, and I was like, no, we did one one night uh, recently, and I kind of just want to keep it uh, keep it in. So I had a, a night. Um, the storm, I'm hoping, is going to clear out because I'm supposed to go see, uh, go with some friends to see some live music of a friend's kid's friend's dad. Follow that logic. Uh, so hopefully it's going to be a beautiful night after all this gets done. And we get to go. Basement. That's what we need. We need spruce wood and... Uh, I don't know what was dying around me. Ooh, there's some better thunder. Um, flint. Flint. I guess we'll go upstairs for it. And <laughs> spruce logs. I know we still have some of those. Um, just saying I was to... Yeah, we'll, we'll have plenty out of all those planks. All right, so we just got to go upstairs. Let's take the stairs. We need to stretch our legs a little bit. Enjoy. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm doing great, doing awesome. I'm looking forward to. We have we have our Memorial Day weekend here in the United States. Uh, this coming Monday is Memorial Day. Uh, Memorial, and I I always treat these universally, right? Um, I mean, I, I am very aware of that. I'm not proud of Russia as a state, but we've had Russian friends here in the channel before. Uh, if even if you're you're Russian military and you've lost loved ones in the service uh, of your home country, uh, it's a day to memorialize. Uh, certainly, it's a U.S. patriotic holiday. But uh, uh, anybody who's uh, seen a loved one, a, a son or daughter, or uh, or father or mother, go off and serve either just the remote deployments. Now we have two. We have v uh, Veterans Day, which is in November. And that celebrates all veterans, you know, living living in past. Memorial Day truly memorializes the ones that have uh, have gone before, and you can oftentimes use that. Oh, oh wait, go ahead. Anytime now. <laughs> Man, that thunder. I said today it's totally different than the other day when I was streaming and there was a thunderstorm because uh, that one was like all flashes and super, you know, just cracks of thunder. Boom, and it's over. Um, these are like the long, low rumblers. Uh, Whitson. Uh, yeah, I, I've heard of that. I, I couldn't begin to tell you what... Uh, uh, how that plays into anything? See, we don't we don't have. I mean, yes, uh, Christmas is is a Christian holiday, right? But we've we've done a great job here in the country of secularizing it. But like very very commonly, uh, there is no there's no government holiday whatsoever around Easter time, and we don't get uh, you know a. Uh, Good Friday off or, or Ash Wednesday or any of those, which other cultures often will. And some businesses here will take a day off. Uh, but uh, with separation of church and state, where we don't have any any of that kind of stuff. Uh, but this is this marks our unofficial beginning of summer is uh, is always Memorial Day weekend. It's big barbecuing and hang out, hang out with friends, be outside, hopefully, and then half the time it's terrible weather so we'll see um all right flint flint that's what we were getting how do we have so oh because i've silk touched everything now we probably made a ton of arrows and never never got flint after this is great i don't know if any of that's coming through to you guys but uh I'm just watching the mic, but then, of course, it all died away. Holy day, seventh Sunday after Easter Sunday. Okay. Oh, man. It is just a tiny little glimmer on the mic, so I don't think you guys are getting much of this at all. It's so, so awesome. I wish I had a set. I need, like, a dual mic setup so when we have these nice, summery, stormy days, I can just throw one outside and you guys can get what I'm hearing. It's awesome. Um, all right, well, now we can make our two... Wait, we need f four flint for two fletching tables. And the spruce. Let's get these done. There's that. And then we can just look at this. This will answer us right away. So this is the other countertop option, right? This is like kitchen shopping. You got to go like, oh, what colors are you? What do we want? Um, I think... I know we've used a bunch of them, but I think that might be a better countertop option just because it, uh, I, you know, the bands are a little off. 
but it doesn't have the depressions in it, right? If you were trying to, like, make change for somebody on that. Uh, what else we have? <laughs> I wanted to look, but I don't think crimson's going to be good. These are also, uh, like, textured, I want to say. Um, and they kind of have that same screen door effect in the middle. Uh, these are open. It'll be fine. We'll use spruce. We're good to go. So I guess what I could do is... Uh, yeah, I, I really wish this mic... I, I mean, I guess it's probably good news. You get less less background noise from me. And it's, it's not wireless or anything, so I'm really on a tether here. I really can't even get over to try to make it louder. Yeah. Stormy out. It's just barely raining. Big, fat raindrops, it sounds like. Um, okay. That's 18. We need more than that. We don't need that many yet, but uh, let's do this. And then put that extra up. Good. And I hope we got, well, it, it won't be a big deal. If we have to come back, we have to come back. Now it sounds Haley. There. There and there. Oh, also, that has to be facing. I, I think it's got to be a long stripe on the counter. Just not like that. Good? Great. And then... Uh, these can get stored now. Those can get stored now. I don't like that. Um... Want those? Actually, no. We want. Let's do these, and I'm gonna start another cook. Try to keep an eye on it and see if we can get an extra bit in there, and then. Let's do that. And I got stone. Nope. 
That was where I wanted that. See how if we have to rework any of this. Two, three, four, five, six, eight. Tried to hold off. I think that's just easier. So that will be our outer line in the stalls themselves if we want this to be tapered and i'm still not sure about that in fact no I, damn it i just did all this um i don't think i do i think i want to change up the appearance of it quite a bit from our our others those of you guys who have been around long enough to remember when we built these things a few other times always we've got like a sloped roof coming down that way uh to include the other walkway and this time, um, I think I want to go a different route. Um, what many are going to rightfully think it from the start here is a bad, like, not very artistic route, and that is um, go with a flat front across here and kind of make this a building... I see there's a block down there. Slab. Um, and we're going to make... We've talked... I've talked about it a little bit. I don't know who all has been here, when, or what. Um, So yeah, we're going to have this more as shop fronts. We'll do another section over here, right? But then I want to make, I, I would love to make it look like these are the little like shade sail covering awning things, but that these are actual buildings this time, not just, um, uh, not just stalls in and of themselves, right? So let's get all these that I keep seeing. Don't want to waste and then let's uh, check this. A few more back. Almost nighttime. And I think we filled in over here, right? Well, we did have that as a slab, but I think. Uh, this could be good. I don't know if we want to have uh, like a windowed area on this end. Um... Guess it doesn't. This has to stay open. Uh, what is the. Like, this has to be up to here. Right? Because the. Uh, the dudes are going to have to walk along. So let's go up 
villagers here. This is the one with the steps. So we need um Blocks all the way along there, I think. Hope this works. Welcome back. And then, oh, now I don't have any stairs. Uh, what if, for fun, what if we made, let's say, some stairs out of the sandstone instead of the smooth? Just... Just kicking it around here so I don't have to cook them. Uh, this is awful. See, if I'd reviewed the whole tutorial or just accepted like yeah today we're gonna completely replicate a tutorial and you guys wouldn't get to see any of this me placing and then removing and then replacing blocks all right now we need the stairs they go here those are not stairs I guess I could just go like this now And then oh, those are smooth. I guess what we could do let's get all that set. We could actually switch these. Oh, there's some lightning flashing. And go inverted smooth stairs on this backside. Uh, so there would be a little more headroom. Not that they're going to use it. It really doesn't pick much of that up, does it? It's crazy. All right. Well, that was super loud. Uh, I guess let's keep cooking these. Um, I would think we need like 22. All you builder Minecraft folks, uh, first of all, welcome and shout out to you. I know you guys can probably all do far, far better than I. Um, but you've suffered silently and long for this, so uh, enjoy. We're going to get more of this. We're, yes, uh, we're making the farm, but uh, especially with farms and things like that, you've got you to gotta work your details before they get loaded, right? Once we have villagers and zombies and stuff in here, we can't can't go back and make tweaks. So uh, 
that's why I'm spending a little bit more time right now. And I hope you guys all appreciate that. Just a quick double check there. Not, well, here, we don't even need to worry about those yet. Let's go with what we got. Of course we need three more. And then two more in here. What did I just do? Oh, I just flipped this trapdoor. I was like, I know something happened there, and whatever it was, it was not intended. I was worried about levers and job blocks and all kinds of stuff. All right, so... Clearly, I didn't put the right blocks there. Uh, but I do think I tried to do it again. From what I saw, that the others will look, look just a little better. Right? It may not mean much to you guys. It may not be worth the effort. But now when we go in and talk to our villagers, yeah, they're going to be back sets. Their heads will kind of be bumping here. But there's a little bit more eye level it doesn't you know their their foreheads aren't going to be getting clipped off when we walk up and talk to them and they're all nicely and safely enclosed right so that's all good let's pick up all the spare stuff um next up we have I think this is solid, and we're going to go, we're going to keep the solid actual red sandstone in the back here. Uh, so there will be some texture behind our traders. And then it's here that we got to start building this thing into... Uh, the background, all right? Um, and it's also here where... All right, we got it working. Like this, right? If I'm the If I'm the villager and I come walking along, I'll be walking along that way. And I fall through the hole. Uh, damn it. Now it's all backwards. Oh my god, stop. There. Alright, we can't miss the hole. Damn it! It's breaking it every time. Um oh. uh. Will it go like that? No, it's got to have... Got to have this block and this power, right? If it doesn't have that, there's nothing. On loop. <laughs> hey, man, you're talking my language, but um, on loop? Quite that hard. All right.
I think this is all right. I think this is our build. Let's try it here. We just gotta <laughs> gotta try to remember where all these things go. All right, we're gonna need. Let's eat. And then I won't have to have food on the toolbar. All right. Uh, we're going to need these. We're going to need some blocks. Probably smooth. For the back -er row. Um, and I think... Oh, got to go the other way. All right. So the observer sits... No, this, the observer sits. Damn it. Yeah, no, this is this is right. We just have to. <sighs> it's always something. Let's just do this. I think this will work. It's the hardest part, guys. If we get this right, then, then it's just all decorating and gravy. All right. Couple of these. And then... This row gets these. Oh, but I still need that gap for redstone. I don't know if anybody's on who knows. Is there anything I can do to tighten this up so I don't need this back i mean i just tried to break it i know obviously we need some kind of power there um so ultimately i think this is gonna be our back wall three out from here which stinks right so like this is the decorative wall uh which if we're Before we get all this stuff sealed out so we can't see it. There. There. Man, I better not mess it up. There. Nope. There. Right. And that's all because we got to have this back layer. I, oh, we got fill dirt, right? Let's use fill dirt. Lots more of that in other boxes. All right, so like this is all going to be invisible that one will not um i mean is it dusty or rusty i think it's dusty is that what you're talking about dusty i don't know i don't know what the trigger is um it is Alex driven. I can say that. So check your Alex. Eater. <laughs> okay, there you go. Is it, that might have been all the heat? But like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It was kind of like the sheen. Like we never got the um the clint emily finale type stuff right and that that's where 
I would have loved to have seen a bit more. Anyway, sorry. Uh, <laughs> let me keep thinking here. I want to make sure we get all this good. So this next one is dirt as well. We got more dirt somewhere. Just, just grabbed it all, right? I suppose I dumped it off. Now oh, here we go. Kid's got some. He's got some baggage. He's got a. Uh... Got a lot to deal with. All right, so now. Oh, crap. I think I think we double this for now. By the way, uh, like, I, I don't remember how long it took us in uh, Terminal Turbidity. We did build build trading calls. We never really got to use them because uh, death. There, there, and there, and there, and then more? What's... Oh, wait, no, I messed up. Oh, this is going to be a mess now. Two there, three, and we still have one extra. Wait, no, I'm still not. Oh, because I left gaps there. I see. That's what confused me. There's a reason why I confused myself. All right, we still have one we've got to finish out down there. Uh, I may have just made this worse. Yeah, that was probably dumb. I was too excited about getting the redstone planted, but we need to do the observers. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no! No! Damn it. All right, just accept it. Keep moving. I got greedy, guys. I wanted too many steps in advance. Observers. Donk, 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 donk. Now, double-decker dirt. <laughs> I, was about to, I was about to say, like, oh, yeah, now we got to jump. It's going to be tough. And then I fell off the edge. All right, bonk, 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 bonk. Good. Then we can take this. Back to there. And now we get to go here. Oh, wait a minute. Right. Now let's do kind of worried about that Ed. Uh, <laughs> I want I want all this to be like kind of built in so that I know nothing else I'm doing is screwing it up. Let's 
sleep. I just give eggs. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> um, so this is our walkway. All right, let's try to make this clearer. And do we want, right? Villager comes in here, do, 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 do. And half of these are going to be, all of these will be open. So walking along, fall in, boom. Um, These are going to be extended and pulled out, but now I think from up here, this side is going to be Street facing, plaza facing, whatever. And these are not. Well, that one will, but these will not. This would be, and uh, we gotta now we gotta take all this back down. Do 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 do. I'm trying to, well, after your comment, Jenny, I'm, I'm really trying to think of what is, what is Alex's sexist line, like specifically sexist line? Um, I don't, I don't doubt it's there. I just can't think of it. Um, was it like during throwing the football? Does he say something like you throw like a girl or something like that? Which girls flex on that <laughs> like that's a compliment um about girls playing football i i figured it was somewhere in there but i can't remember the line and it's frightening how many of those actual lines i do remember so uh i think we gotta just keep keep grinding here i'm a little worried about missing it or getting distracted and having the the cold just burn unnecessarily but I guess we can keep doing this cycle. Doesn't hurt anything for them to sit uh, uncooked. Okay, now. We can do. Uh, should we go like that? I think I think everything at this point is pretty. Solid? What do we think about that? Or should we just pretend like these don't 
matter and just well i i think at least that um it is a good reminder though that this ah, could come back down Uh, that might be a mistake, though. I don't know. Where are they walking again? What am I trying to... I'm trying to fill in these holes. Let's get back to... <laughs> back to what I'm focused on. The attention span of a gnat. All right. Now, we still have one more to do, but I want the model up in case none of this works. So, speaking of which, I think... I think we've got plenty here to go do the back. Sides. Because what we were trying to do was get this laid in as well. To help clarify and lock down our uh, villager walkway. Saw some stairs or something that had fallen back here. Okay. And if we do that, then we can come over here and do all of this. Except for the last last piece I need to be able to squeeze in there, but Everything else. Back row set. Uh, this can basically just get walled off. Um, and we should do that. Right. Okay. So there's our building. This is where the the zombie will hang out. Do I need more slabs? This seems very, very open. Like, is he going to be good down here like this? Or is he going to see their faces and attack them? We got observer with the stair block. Pick that up. Um, all right, this should, this is kind of the big moment here. This should bait, bait these steps. Damn it. Uh, these stair blocks, right? That's the sticky piston, which is currently two blocks back over here. I shouldn't have sealed all this in so well, but uh, you guys get it, right? Here we can see from up here. Um, 
So the sticky piston has the the block ahead to reach out to this one. So when we put the string down below this block, this is going to extend and the observer underneath seeing the string will trigger the redstone up, shoot it out, and it will pull it back. And then when the villager comes walking along, they will fall down and their head will actually block the observer again, which will reverse the signal. And so it will keep it shut as it has been. It'll go zoop, out with the string. And then when their head gets in the way, it'll push it back forward again. And that will leave the rest of these all open and uh, the, your a uh, little villager will just keep on walking down to the next job block. So they, they basically can't... The f first three are going to have to be um, farmers, and then we'll have to have a butcher, and they don't get to pick, right? They just walk forward and fall in. And they may well have seen a different one further down this way, uh, but they'll, uh, they'll walk forward and fall. So... And if we start getting stuck, I have an idea for that. Because a lot of times in the past, right, we've, you know, been down to these last couple and the villager just stands here. And I get all confused and frustrated, like, why are you not moving? I think with an extra job block, we can just move down to here and push them, uh, push them past, right? So that's our test. This is our stake. We've earned it. And then this sets it, all right? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of do the, do the nasty here for myself. I didn't mean that. Um, but this is the villager experience, right? He walks along. He might see one of these different job blocks, and we might have to have these open. Uh, that's something I haven't really considered yet do those block uh they're i think they'll go anyway i don't i don't know we'll figure it out uh but so here's the string the string's still there and then with my head here as well big old melon that it is um that pushes the stair back and leaves the sticky piston in the same state as it was with you know like two two negatives don't make a positive or whatever i don't know you guys figured it out All right, so now we can rebuild all this back again. This. This. And that. There we go. And then we can do the same all the way down here. We now know that it works, which is very questionable until we actually do it so now what we're going to do is break all of our sample one and put it into place over here if we can remember all the steps that we took to get everything in the right spots and we'll be good to go then we then we get to go to the badlands again right because that's where our train track stuff is going to come from. All right. I think that's all we need first. And it's observer from this direction. Oop. That can go. Nope. That was not the one I was trying to put. Oh my, stop it. Oh, quit breaking stuff. Sometimes efficiency five, not your friend. 
I think these can... Oh, we need... Uh, just do this. Because I need stair... Wait, these are the stair blocks. How did I get these into place and not... What's going on? What did I have? Those are just blocks. They're good. And these all cover... So that all looks right. Um, doesn't really matter what these were. They just had to be... available. But we could use two dirts. Oh, crap. Not there yet. I need a redstone in here. And then... Another redstone. Right? Ish? And then these are just blocks to keep the villager in place uh, who's walking down the hallway. And now we've run into a tree. It's actually pretty decent, though. We did better than I thought we were going to have to do before we started having to tree trim. And... Um, that third one out's going to have to go. Uh, string here. Let's not forget you. All right, it seems like it's on pace with everything else. Oh, goodness. All right. Sorry, guys. That's uh, what's called being by a dumpster. There. So yeah, this, this, even this back row, that could actually switch into stairs and bring us up one to there and cut over to there because none of this space, in fact, we could go down two. Uh, then maybe our trees could stay and we can make it like a reverse slanted roof with a big, big storefront on the end, right? Let's try it. Yeah, why, better to do it now than when uh, we got traitors and zombies we don't want to risk losing. Also, do we want to alter it and like make the, the roof more white or anything? And then these would pop. I can't believe it. Like, hey, guys, we're all going to hang out tonight. So let's just text everything now. Like, you're 
just wait two hours. That's all you got to do. People are goofy sometimes. Um, let's go... Definitely some white trim. Uh, but do I do an entire white roof? Also, do I take a white band all the way around at this height, which would be just above the interacting with the traders? I'd considered that at the time. I was like, eh, I don't know. Might be a, a bit much. Because uh, it seems weird to have stripes in a roof like you would in the building, right? Um But we could do. Oh, malls sometimes have those little like fake turret things too. We could put some of those on the end to dress it up later. Um... We could also mix it up and do something. Uh... Totally different for the mall, but I think I think malls kind of keep their color scheme, right? They don't. Uh... Like for one thing, the malls are kind of more like the creeper farm, and that you don't really see the ceiling, right? They just go up. So maybe this is a. Uh... Oh, I got it. I got it. So we'll do... Right, because we're going to have to have a, a jump. So let's go... Three up to this edge, and then we'll make that vertical again and have uh, just like a, a trimmed top or flat roof. And then we'll put a couple just... Uh, those, I, I don't even know what to call them. Those just stupid wall, uh, mall fake tower things. You guys know what I'm talking about? I don't know if they have them all over the world. For a while, like, right? And then malls all age. <laughs> so it's from a specific era. Um, but, but they're just like these little, like, they look like they'd be like a little, like, fire watch tower kind of thing, right? Oh, that was more than I probably needed, but. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, oh, I'll s well, that's fine. I think we're good here. Fix that in a sec. All right, and then uh, this this actually doesn't matter at all. We don't need to cook this. That end cap one does. This was the oops. Oh, no! Oh, that fell through, though. Should be okay. That should have just been a passing one. Uh, it should reset, I hope. Um... And 
and then now I don't have any more blocks. All right, let's go look at this from the front, make sure that uh, everything got back. So it, when it passed through, did the same thing that our head does when our head just stands there, and that is it uh, made it go out and back, uh, just like we did when we were jumping through the test one over here. I didn't get the quartz, did I? Um, there had been the, the thought to pull this white around the edge and do a full loop, but I think, I think that gets a little too blocky. Uh, so I think we're just going to hold it off here and go, uh, vertical and... This presents a bit of a thing. Um, maybe we do these two? That, that. It's felt precarious, but then we can go up. Maybe to here? Oh, I should switch these out. I was thinking, I was thinking of having like windows, even though, but this roof on this backside kind of messes that up. Uh, I think it would go stupid high if we went that far. No, what? No, 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 no. I did middle mouse button. Get more of you. And then... And then this one near damn it. There and there. Not sure how I want to do those yet. We gotta we gotta redesign our axis, I guess. All 
Alright, uh, half a stack, maybe? <laughs> Almost went for a tumble. Uh, oh, it wouldn't necessarily be there. And do we want to go? Um, no, I don't want to do that. Do I want to go with like a whole white? Um. And then um. Oh, these are the wrong kind. Oh, you... I have three. Oh, man. Uh, here, we can go out on this edge. So I'm thinking we do a very gentle cap roof up high like this. So it would go, that's the edge block. There. get stairs access up back there again. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, here? No! <laughs> what? What did I do? Uh, half? I don't even know if that's going to get me through. Plus, I'm going to have to get back up there. Oh, I got to sneeze. <laughs> there was that. Sorry. That's called open, <laughs> open door, which, by the way, is feeling a little chilly now. That's nice, though. All right. Uh, all of these are now half slabbed, so they're going to be Doofy. And then a
As you see, Charlie shouted yes because he won a game of chess on his Switch. Nice. Shout out to you, Charlie. Nice work. Um, uh, what if we then did... Right again, these are <laughs> these are those stupid things at malls that don't make any sense anyway. This might be too much though. I mean <laughs> getting there. We're almost as tall as the villager tower over there. Just on random stuff. With a... Oh, no. Um... With... Slabs and I don't know if this will uh, feeling this will be very maddeningly not working, but stairs. If you will please, please, please. Oh, they're not gonna. I, why can't those have the little knobbies point up, right? Yeah, that's awful. Uh, it's very pinwheely, pinwheely, but. I'm doing this like I'm trying to uh, balance out all the pieces, but we're going to have to replicate this over on the other side, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so we could do something this-ish, and now that we have damn it, too much. Uh, we can do that and hope that it's enough to keep those from being non-spawny. Not sure I'm going to love this. <laughs> I'm even less sure I'm going to love this. We could put some light up. That's a long way down. Um, put some light like that. Oh. <clears throat> Now you gotta remember though, one thing you gotta remember is that we definitely have um, 
uh, like are colored, right? I want to use wool or something like that to make the the various shade sails that will hopefully be layered and kind of you know a little little Minecraft triangular as they go around. I definitely forgot to get uh, blocks. like that Think that that's better. It's it, it's pretty laughable. I don't know why I have such trouble jumping there, but I think with two, it wouldn't be the worst. They kind of look like um, like cauldrons or uh, like Olympic torches on either end. Uh, the upper part. I like I like the overhang. It's a little flat, and you don't really catch the. Um, catch the rise from anywhere close. But I, I also am, am very much of the opinion that they're malls. They're hideous. Like they try to dress them up, but they're always hideous, right? So maybe that's not the worst thing. And I didn't have to cut down the tree, which does make me feel better. We never did jungle all that up as I'd hoped. Well, let's see if we can uh, even manage to duplicate whatever it was that was over here. Um, we need probably decent. I'm guessing we probably need a few more. Stairs when we're all said and done. I, I don't know. How many did we actually like four? All right. What have we done? Um, this, these all got blocked, I think. Blocks all the way around. In fact, blocks all the way across. I need, uh, something like that will help me get up, I think. And then we go back on the corners too. And then these all come back around. That. Uh, torches go right there. No, they're up one more in what is uh, red sandstone. And it's at that level that we go... Oh, come on, get it there. To our sombrero of decorative goodness. But if we do that, we must sleep. All right, do, we do not have enough of these for sure. I don't think we have enough of a, either of them. Uh, there and there. So let's get... These are going to double. And then...
to there. Let's see how that does for us. I almost biffed it. All right, now we got to get uh, get some access back. You go, you come back. Bonk, bonk, bonk. I think these are torch levels. Lab. Oops, got a little carried away there. All right. Stairs. There. <laughs> then we've got this monstrosity. Um, I think we did like this, and then torches on top of that, but I'll probably need to break one to put up another block, right? Because these are all stairs. <sighs> I don't even know. Oh my god, come on, man. Just need a big block. Then that 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 and that gentle. Just, just a little tap. A little tippy tap. And then it was all half slabs, except for the one, well, even the ones in the middle. Uh, but we're hoping that the perhaps bleed through light up here takes care of the mobs before they and come back. Oh. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't know if I did it right. <laughs> I don't know if I'm happy that I did it right, if I did do it right. Those all look about the same. So that's it for that. And then I I think we can uh I would love to do like a big sign. Um but letters are tough. Like I think we need even more than this four by to like, even make an M, right? Much less a, an M in two big uh, spots. Hmm. 
We could maybe do... Oh, that wouldn't even work. It would have to be... It'd have to be like that. Boom. <laughs> no. No, we're not making a big mall sign. Also, this is going to be under the canopies, so it'll be fine. It won't be that big. Um, we may do our villager signs right here, which would be kind of like their spots. Um, but we do have one more thing I think we've got to be certain of before we start filling the... Or before we go to get the materials to fill the sucker up. And that is... Um, do I need slabs here? If zombie is here, will that block? Like, are they safe or are they not safe at this height? Anybody know? Um, if you know, speak now, because I'm going to go check. That, like, I, all of this has just been done straight from memory and me trying to figure it out. And I'm okay um, doing it that way, but... Creeper farm. Yeah, his tr his uh, creeper farm is totally different than ours. Uh, the breeder, the easy villager trading hall video. I don't know if you guys are going to get sound on this. Looks like it. Hey. The machine. The video, if you need, want to have a good look at this. Oh, we're jumping all around. All right. Place down a block, a miss a block, and then another I'm right oh, in the middle of it from whenever I last so, looked. I just need a look. Of, uh, make sure you build this away from, from the right angle. The last thing to mention in terms it of looks of pretty sight, open. All right, that looks. You need to do is you need decent. to move away, break the line of sight with the with the zombie, and then he will uh, lose interest. In yeah, you, there's nothing the at his the head height um, on that as you level. Saw where we All right, so we got it. We got a few hits. Shout out Logical Geek Boy. Go check him out on YouTube. I don't know if he uh, Twitch streams or anything like that. I kind of think it's all produced. So, um, so, but anyway, these these are correct. Uh, at least according to the video. It looks terrifying, but he won't see their faces. So even though he's got very clear range, he's going to be good to go. And... That would have been a mistake. Okay. Uh, next up, I think I want to load. Wait. Uh, if he's loaded, will that keep the villagers from going? Do I? I think maybe I should populate it and then bring in the zombie. Because I think he'll scare them. Uh, if they're not already in there. It'd scare me. Um, so, now we've got the bit with uh, the villagers. How does that look over on this side? I think that's just going to all be red sandstone, right? One one dot, a bar. So that's the one dot spot. Uh, and then the bar would go across where he goes through, but we're going to we're going to make it so that they can't come back out again once they get popped into the the area uh we're also going to set it up so that the cart gets uh ejected for us um how did all that go there's a detector rail which i don't think we have yet Car comes through detector rail, but what does it just then pop him 
sideways because there's a detector rail? And then I know there's the cactus, right? It, it eventually bumps into the cactus. Like, that goes here, right? Hopper with the rail, rail track over the top, the cactus over here. Cactus grows up, but um, when it hits, uh, the cart falls in through the hopper and gets sucked down. Right? Also... I can't quit. I don't want to fall in the hole. Get at least one. Dark down there. Do that down here. So we don't get extra spawns, right? Okay, um, this needs the gate that we've been carrying around the whole time. That's to keep the zombie contained once we're through. And I think he mentions, um, you certainly can, you can make this a two-way deal, right? So you can, uh, like, lure your zombie, we'll, we'll wait until nighttime, get him to spawn up out here, find the one that we want, aka one that grabs something up off the ground, um, and then uh, set them up in here safely. But if you wanted to open up that far side and put another f gate on it, then you could just come in, open this gate, go all the way around, close it at the other side, and run back around and close this one and not have to do it. Uh, at this point, we'll just let him get in and kind of pass him as he's swinging at us uh, to get back out again. That'll be fine. We'll only take a little bit of damage. So uh, we got our good armor. All right, let's drop off extra junk. Um... Uh, we've got these extra chests. They're good to have around, but and then I don't think we need the grass blocks for now. Uh, the question is, do we do we go to the Badlands and try to get all of our rail stuff? I think we probably do, because it's probably our best chance of finding a detector rail and all that. And then we'll just try to figure out what we... Um, what we need to do. For that minecart, that bit, that bit escapes me as well. Shocking, I know. We do have a hopper, though, that I just remembered. Um, we got lots of cactus, so I'm not too worried about that. Although we will need a piece of sand to grow said cactus on. Uh, I'm assuming we've got some of that around. Uh, so it'll basically be like a capped cactus here, which again, once once we're done filling this thing, then we tear all this down. It doesn't it doesn't remain. It'll go over to the next section, right? Um, all right, let's let's leave all of this. Uh, I'm not even going to leave this stuff. It's fine. Uh, let's go get our get our supplies. We got to go go a long hike, but I think that's the best place to do it within the mine. Um, and we'll be good to go. I guess I could have switched all my gear out right there. Maybe a bit smart, but yeah, we can do it anywhere in here. It's fine. 
Uh, should we go to the farm? I haven't been to the farm in a while. We're talking about all these, uh, all these farmers, right? Look at our crops. I haven't even bothered to look at them, but this is why we keep talking about needing pumpkin farmers. We've got a lot of pumpkins. Everything else we've been trading, but uh, we can always get more. Oh, right, we have a chest here. Tools. Uh, we'll take an extra bucket of water to our fun, and then I basically just want these guys. Those out, but grab the tool chest just in case. All right, quick long run. I hope, I hope, I don't know if we can get all of them populated today. I do have a very hard cut, as I said. We'll uh, take a run. You know what? Actually, that's a great call. Someone in the chat just uh, dropped the BRB, Jenny. I'm going to BRB too. Um,. Because other than standing up when the storm was hitting today, uh, I haven't taken a break yet. So let me step away. Um, I think we're pretty safe, but I think we're pretty safer here. Uh, just in case a slime was to come along. Well, chill here. Watch the bird. Don't let him do anything. I'll be right back.
And we're back. The great drama was, oh my god, they might not release the Casa Bonita menu. You gotta check it all out. It's like, dude, it could be anything. And who cares? Like, listen, I was in school at the same time as Trey and Matt. Uh, didn't know them. Got out a, a bootlegged VHS copy of their, uh, uh, I don't even remember the name of it, the Christmas Christmas uh, video with Santa versus Jesus that uh, first featured the kids. It was a school project, um, and it was so popular that everybody made VHS copies of it, and we're all over the school. It was great. Um, so I, I love it. I loved, uh, well, I, I shouldn't say I've ever loved. I was not a kid in Colorado, so I've never loved Casa Bonita. I've been there several times. Uh, I understand it is a staple and a tradition for everybody around here. But people are losing their freaking minds. And they're like, oh, my God. You know, it's like, oh, we got to have a big lineup outside, camp out for days. And part of it is those guys being savvy businessmen, right? They're they're building hype by making stories about the hype, right? Like a week ago, they they set up like 20 or 30 uh, porta potties in their parking lot for the, the people that were expected to wait for days in line, right? And like, was anybody thinking about that? No, but there's enough people out there that as soon as... Uh, Affin Man, what is up? How you been? Great to see you. Sorry, I was I just stepped away for a break. I don't know if you were around to know that. Uh, so if you came back and saw me looking at a bird uh, on the stairs, that's what I was doing. Uh, we're back. We're going to go go get some train supplies so that we can move some villagers around uh, for the end of the stream here today. How you been? Welcome. Hope your Friday is fantastic. But yeah, here around Denver, we've got the... Uh, the full-on Casa Bonita madness going, can I sneak by unseen? Uh, I hope so. Come on. I need, like, a Skyrim-style sneak. I hope I made it. I'm awesome, man. Thank you for asking. We just had a little thunderstorm roll through here. I'm going to go uh, go catch up with some friends tonight. Uh, see what, uh, who knows, could be terrible live music, but... Um, fun excuse to get together and hang out, but yeah, uh, in the midst of all the like texts of like, Hey, that's happening tonight. You guys, uh, you guys all want to go and all that? Like what time are we getting there? This, that, and the other thing. Um, we also had, uh, <laughs> um, people texting out like Casa Bonita menus and like, you gotta sign up for this email link. Like why? Well, so that you can get in on the list for the next thing that might, like, <laughs> one of the friends is like, dude, I signed up for that thing, like, months ago. Like, no, this is a new list. You got to sign up for the new one. Like, how about this novel idea? You're in your uh, your middle-aged years. How about you let uh, the, the fanatics and the families all go do their thing and deal with the miserable experience of being in the midst of a line and a hype and all that where like uh i'm i'm sure it'll be awesome and i'm there are people some of my friends included that feed off that hype it's like oh my god yeah but it's not as good if you're not in there at the beginning and getting all the hype um I'm the exact opposite. Like you're gonna you're gonna get worse service, you're gonna be rushed through it, like they don't want you to linger or hang out or anything. Um so I I just like any of those like we've had In and Out Burger get here, that was people lined up for days and it's like, dude, just I don't know. I, I get the, the internet part of it. I think that's one of the deals for one of my buddies that's the most. I think he's big into uh 
like TikToking and all that. And I'm sure you know he's got people that he's like, oh yeah, I'm so, you know, he's like overhyping the hype for himself, uh, for his audience. But that's a very different deal from the way I would ever approach it. Anybody here knows, but again, it just sounds miserable. Like, and that was kind of the deal. Like they can't, they can't make it really good food because Casa Bonita food it was like this cafeteria style school lunch quality Mexican it was better than that sort of not like the entrees the the only good thing and anybody who's watched South Park knows it's the sopapillas with the little flag and you raise up the flag and uh, they keep coming back with more sopapillas and you got honey on the table you fill them up it's so good right and they're even those like you put them in a taste test against any other sopapilla, they're probably not that good, but they were unlimited. And as an adult, the only times I've been there, you'd get, like, really crappy margaritas, and you'd hang out and, like, soak in all the just craziness. The, uh, the South Park episode for Casa Bonita that is now years and years old reflected the spirit of it so well when Cartman's, like, all jacked up and running through it all in, like, five minutes that's the deal is it's a black Bart's cave the high divers the mariachi band the kind of crappy video arcade uh and and the soap of is going over and over and over again um so i know i know they're going to do a great job of keeping the spirit of it um but i think i think it's going to be a tough balance of um the hype machine prices that they're going to be charging because they put so much into it, right? They they bought the land and re, redid it all, and then the pandemic and the staff and all that, they put loads of money into that adventure. The what? Man, I'm just still at my dad's place, and all my friends are at my mom's. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> that's a, a one way to go. I guess you got, uh, got some chill time. Sometimes... Sometimes you need a little separation from friends. Sometimes I need a separation from my friends, like when it's tweeting about all that. Uh, Affin Man, I sorry, I think Affin Man, were you Nor uh, Netherlands? I can't remember. I'm sorry, that's not you. Um, oh, yeah, oh, we need. Oh no! Oh wait, no! Damn it! Die! want to swear so bad i don't think they can go get in here dude yeah they won't go over the magma blocks so that's kind of a nice little deal oh hate them hate them and they're my kin i'm a habage a habage is a uh, luau party and pig man uh but hoglins uh they're the they're the family members you don't invite to, to company. Uh, so if anybody doesn't know, the show the show South Park, uh, the creators of that show bought a local icon restaurant called Casa Bonita in outside of Denver. And uh, <laughs> it's so it's it's truly truly a one-of-a-kind what the heck americana type deal and it had it way 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 predates south park and they they reflected it in their own show uh, because of course you know kyle stan and all the cartman and all the other kids are reflections of a lot of their takes on childhood and, and while it's not exclusively Colorado based, it's supposedly set in Colorado, and it there's so many bits throughout it that have always picked up on Colorado stuff. Uh, and they may not be featured throughout the episode. It may not be an episode about Colorado necessarily, uh, but there'll just be a little offhand comment that's like, "Yeah, these guys grew up <laughs> with the same." the scene stuff you know uh, fans of various stuff and all that so why am i not seeing our gateway w were we that far past it i remember we'd overshot just a little bit but anybody remember oh no 
Oh no, Enderman. What have I done? Yeah, but I didn't have a green mushroom. I just had to, <laughs> I just had to get back far enough to shoot them. Not to have them keep me in the uh in the lava lake. All right, I think we've gone through here, and then we had to bridge back, and I thought, oh, it's going to be here, and it's on the left up here, maybe? Does that seem right? What the? It was by some blackstone. Wait a minute. We haven't even been through the, the basalt and all that, right? Guys, what the? Yeah, it's definitely further than that. Why is our pathway not all cut out? My portal to the Badlands. It's at the end of this road, but uh, that road shouldn't shouldn't have that angle there. <laughs> I certainly don't remember that as being a leftover from the last one. What? Like, clearly we went further. How did I not notice and clean this up on the way back the other day? Like, this doesn't even register as familiar. What the... Glowstone? I don't know. How did I how did I skip over all this? And how did I get so distracted coming back that I didn't even I don't know. We've only been down the road once. Oh, you jerk. You're just gonna come and try to hit me again, so. Look at him running away. Also, we got pretty hungry there after swimming in the lava. All right, you're done. Get the big guy down here. Oh, get the big guy. Always, man. Always confused. Should have seen me when I was doing my building earlier. Okay. Now we start watching for it on the right. I think it's right up here. I knew it was too hard to miss. I just don't know why all that was hanging out in the middle of the path. I didn't re nothing about remembering have, having left stuff in the middle of the path or unfinished path. Um, okay, so this doesn't, I don't anticipate a whole lot here, but all we got to do is go hit all of the mine areas with our water buckets to gather up the train tracks. All right. Oh. Sometimes, if you do it right. Okay, well, this is awful. I guess maybe we won't do that. We'll just hit them and maybe get some terracotta while we're at it. Any more out this way? We had several sections here. That was where we got the cart from. Shouldn't, shouldn't water push all the... I thought that always did it. Water pushes all the tracks off. Not terrible to have to do it this way, but... Here. And maybe we'll find stuff we haven't explored here. I... I don't know. We ran around uh, quite a bit uh, right after we got our wings. We hadn't even come uh, all the way back out here with the tunnel. Uh, we just went to the, the previous one and came flying to see the world and all that. And
and did do some caving at that point or mining. Mine exploring. Uh, we're getting rails to move villagers from our villager breeding tower uh, into the villager trading hall that we just, just set up for them. Uh, storm elsewhere. I think that's going to do much for us. And what we're really looking for here is a... Well, a... Uh, if there was like an abandoned chest of uh, power drills, that would be fantastic. Uh, we got some, and we do have a detector here, so this is it's a good little batch. And I hadn't hadn't really touched any of this stuff uh, when we first were out here looking for more treasury loot. I guess just goes to show it's all all valuable at some point, but. A rail certainly can be an inventory crusher. Like I didn't know we hadn't been to this stuff. I thought maybe we just didn't have any torches. I guess we've been up above it. Is that new spiders? Ugh, spiders I can't easily get to. We need some good blocks. I hear you. I hear you. Where are you? Come get it, spider. Deal with them. Deal with them when we can. Uh, this is uh, unexpected little fun. I didn't know we had any of this left unseen. Deal with some of these poison spiders if we can beforehand. All right. Yeah, water should push off rails. That's what I thought. Hey, Affin man, thanks so much for dropping by. I hope to see you tomorrow. We'll be uh, we'll probably end up not doing much with populating the farm until then. Uh, so it should be a good one. Uh, we'll get all the traders set up and uh, do the zombie curing and all that good stuff. Name tag. Love it. So look forward to seeing you then. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a good sleep, my friend. Uh, we got trouble above. So the cave spider should be back this way. Or at least from that spawner, but who knows how many spawners there are. Yeah, this seems about... All right, see any of them hanging in these little pockets? Habage exterminations. Here to deal with your pest problem. Y'all got a pest? No problem. Uh-oh. Uh, a little problem. Here you are. Oh, and I... Why are you gonna be like that? Being all bitey. All right, we'll come back for some of this. Let's see if I think the spawner area gives us kind of our most direct access back. Maybe. Ooh, that was well done. 
or not. Oh no! A oh, full of regular rails? Yeah. <laughs> I've never, never seen so such water repelling rails. Is that a terracotta thing? Um, not much of this is real trash. Let's pop another of these. I uh, don't have anything green going at the moment. I heard you, buddy. Green, we will do all the railroady stuff, or lime. And then let's do purple. I'm going to use purple. Purple will be all the other stuff. Real. And then we can flip that. Should we sleep? I don't like that that switched. Gotta have food on the right spot. Alright. Skelly, where are you at? Oh, do we know about this yet? Come on, come on, baby. You know, you can't win them all. What that does do, though, is just really clog up the inventory. There's nothing down there. Nothing much there. Here's our access back over to where we do want to be. All right, here's where we ended. So let's get these little extra pieces. Um, I guess we'll have to go up, up, and around, and back. Hear little footsteps. Seems fun. It's definitely more fun when you... Uh, the armor and no, you're gonna, you're gonna get some like drum, jump scare drops on your head, but that doesn't go anywhere. That doesn't go anywhere. Uh, does this? Don't appear to. Okay. Look at all this. All right. Getting getting excited. Uh, let's just go see. Is this single hallway? It's pretty safe. Lots of lots of rail for us. Fingers, toes, eyeballs. Let's cross them all. Uh, it's north east of spawn 
Wow. That would be great early on. Four diamonds. Uh, hang on. We'll, it, when I next go back to unload, we'll pull out the book. I don't, I don't know what off the top of my head. But yeah, of course. Oh boy, that's, that's some pitter-patter of little spider feet. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, that doesn't work at all. I don't, it doesn't work for me. I wasn't a torch. The heck, spiders? I hear you. Carrying on like a bunch of crazy spiders. So, yeah, I guess I guess the villagers is going to be a two-day effect. We got it built. That's good. Uh, we just didn't get the real system in place to get the villagers back to the trading hall. So we'll have to finish that up. That, that was lame. I don't know what we're hearing there. And then all here. Oh, I haven't been over here yet. You guys got spiders? That looks lit up. I'm a star? How is that? I'm gassy. <laughs> Do tell though. I, I mean, of course I am. A star, not not gassy. Oh, we are almost back to full up again. That's just a cool ravine. Um, I see, yeah, we're twenty seven, so I assume we can keep grabbing gold ore while we're this far back. Got all these rails, but we oh we got a uh, second section of twenty three. I mean, we might not have enough pocket space to bring anything back with us, but keep peeking. I don't know why we couldn't find any of this the last time we were around. Um... 
and I still keep hearing, but not see. Oh, there, there's the spiders. Come on in here, buddy. Uh, first of all, what? Ooh, look at us, level 35. We are going to get a big old boost of XP when we pull out that... Uh, uh, cactus cooking loot. Finally, we don't. We no longer need to worry about soft swords for uh, basically just admitting that we're gonna lose them for this, because the netherite durability means, yeah, you're you're gonna be okay. Oh, look, there's a little hole down there. Otherwise, unremarkable. But where does it all go? So why is it all so light down there? Oh my god! Dead! Ah! <laughs> I saw it, I stopped, and then I fell. Uh, all right. Not so bad. Let's just make sure lots of light in here. Because you can you can light up around the spawner itself, but if there's a dark pocket around it, it'll keep spawning and filling. I, I think oh, dude. I think we're pretty well cleared out, and I think we need it to come all the way here. Go all the way back. It's those spiders though that I still don't. Uh-oh. 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 This way? How about this way? That's what I meant to do. To here. Checking how big that stack was. This feels like nighttime. Hope we're all good, guys. I see some uh, I see some drop packets. So we're gonna blame those on the thunderstorm earlier. Uh, the times still sync up, so I don't think we fully dropped today. But yikes! All right, I'm not gonna forget, but we're gonna put all this stuff away first. All the random extras. Alright, and then I, I, who knows what I'm being blind about, but I think everything else is there and should be right in this chest. Alright, get get ready, Charlie. Base, 334, 690. 334, 690. Should we throw it in the chat? I don't know where that, uh, I don't know where that equated to. It's probably somewhere up on that big porch area. Oh, dupes in the base that was pretty central early on
Yeah, no problem. Just can't build a better one than I did. Make me feel all bad. Oh. Oh. Where did... This is where we came out of. I lost our little access point, but this is continued to be good. I think we can go back through here, though. Yes. All right, we did all that. We were back over here. And... A little of this while we're... Or doing our things. Uh, is this a no? <laughs> nope, not new. We've been here, uh, but we knew all this was in here. And oh, it's convenient when you get tracks and coal. After all that. Uh, so we have like four stacks now. <sighs> and I still end up in it. Bad spider web. Uh, that was the hole and the caves and all that. Uh, the caves can be great around here, right? You still get the gold, so very worth exploring. Uh, but obviously we're not going to get any rail pieces. So, yeah. Okay, all done. Back to here. I think that's what we just looked at. Let's <laughs> start getting a little spinny there. Ooh. Oh, well, this looks fun. It's creepers and all. Hi, creepers. Oh, did, did you get stuck? I'm sorry, dude. Little shooting gallery here, I'm guessing. That's a lot of XP tingles. Oop, there he is. I just need to get down to business here. Uh, probably we will open up some chamber above that's all just full of spiders, since we can hear some of them. Oh. Do we know this part? I don't think we do. Hi, Creeper. Hi, buddy. It's nice to see you.
I get. Oh, is that a skelly? No. Oh. Don't like that. Look at all this. Oh, that was an outside hallway. Nice. What are we doing? All right, well, good long hallway. Let's see what we got. Fingers, toes, eyeballs, cross the roll. Let's go. Uh, golden apple. Not an enchanted one. Everything else kind of mad, but we got them. And with all this gold ore or the gold we've got back at home, uh, if we have to make a bunch of powered rails, which at this point it's looking like we will, uh, but we'll have that because they they do take a lot of gold. Is their deal? So this is not bad. Never bad. Never bad to get so much gold. Or coal, for that matter. Especially since this gold, unlike the nether gold, this gold we got to cook. Uh, is this, this, this the one that we lit up around? Anything beyond it? So, like... Part of me thinks that there's an, a hallway there, but I really don't think there is. I think it ends. Yeah. It's, uh, we did that long hallway. Iron up on. Here we go. This was the... Oh, look. There's outside air. So we could uh, get out this way. Or we could find that we never want to get out because it's so awesome in here. I saw the coal. I'm going to leave it. That was kind of underwhelming. So is that anything? A daytime or is it no? It's just another torch. Yeah, I'm still got counters. I'm still seeing weird, weird chatty stuff. So I hope you guys are all good. I apologize if anything's getting uh, bad here right at the end. We are jammed up, so let's go empty your pockets, and we might we might call it good. Um, I mean, I guess all these can go. Oh no! Oh, uh, we can stack them. Come on, just go together. Uh, <laughs> first time in a long time we've actually had a torch deficit. There you go. Yeah, I think I think we're doing doing all right. Uh, good. Glad to hear it. At least for some folks. Um. I honestly, I, I think I, excuse me, oh, tea. I think I let it set with the bags too long in the fridge. Um, get her 
got icy boots back on. All right, we're good to go, right? Let's go. Not forgetting anything. Let's go. Uh, we will at least get back home and probably aim to wrap it up. We gotta go this way. Back in the cactus farm and grab that XP. Uh, I don't see any reason to really go over to the creepers. Um, and I don't, honestly, I don't know if we've got enough stuff to get our villagers uh, from the tower to us. I still don't know why I left all this. It's such a mess. That's awful. Oh, I didn't. I mean, I know there were people in here. Maybe we were just getting hit with a raid or something. I know we were talking and chat was busy and all that, but... Uh... Still seems... Kind of odd. Whatever. But we figured it out. <laughs> I was very, very, very confused, though, when I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Our trail is ending, and uh, we still don't have our portal. Quiet chat today, guys, and I'm sorry. It is uh, we are gonna tar try to wrap it up right on like the four hour mark today, because I do got places to go things to do people to see it's been busy the last few days i really thought uh the end of this week everything was gonna chill down and uh i'd have long stream time it hasn't played out that way but uh that's good it's you know more more in life going on and today was just kind of dialed in on getting that farm built and working it is one of the ones i've got to really think uh, I mean, we may build stuff that I don't really know the mechanics of, or really have to talk. Like the uh, the iron farm, uh, also uh, logical geek boy design. Uh, I do kind of his. He talks about three tiers, and I kind of do the middle tier, uh, which is not a lot of nether consolidation stuff, but we just spawn golems that then. Uh, fall down, ride a little water chute, and consolidate to uh, get cooked on a lava blade. It's not an XP trap, just just will get us iron uh, nonstop. And that would be one of those things that we would put in the spawn chunks, right? Because uh, it can just keep, keep cranking. Um... This was the long haul stretch. But it's not Crimson Forest, so... Ooh, this one needs work too, though. Uh, why? Why? What? Is anybody mad at me? I heard a lot of wee. Nobody's mad at me. Little bit of housekeeping. Just on the end. I think I think it's gonna be tight, but we're gonna make it time wise, so uh this will help us down the road. Here we'll probably get like we'll do at least one lava drop on our head, right? But now that now that we've done ancient debris hunting, that gets to be less a deal. I haven't even seen them yet. I haven't seen a single one. 
I love it when they come up close enough that we can pet them. Once we get our our uh, gassed farm going, that's another thing. I don't know. I don't know that we've done that in any of the Twitch streams. But we definitely are gonna want to get the uh, the gassed, or as chat likes to call them, wheezy kitties, uh, spawning pretty passively. But every time I've done it, the chat is pretty improper. YouTube commenters, I should say, are pretty. Like, wow, dude, that, that actually works a lot. Yeah. You set it up right, you can have a lot of those ghasts. All right, here we are back at our... Uh, uh, that is the long-distance village portal. But I think we I think we'd gotten the road pretty well to that point. It was all this stuff after when I was just like, oh, I don't know how far we're going to have to go. We got to get get uh, to where we can set up the portal and it can be safe. I see that, and then I'm looking down there. That doesn't look done either, does it? Gosh. Come on, former me. Why don't you just take care of this stuff while you're working on it? This never ends. Also, as more and more time goes on, I am less and less certain of where we found that uh, that ancient bastion, the Blackstone place with the axe-wielding piglin brutes. Uh, I know we went there. We got some specific loot from it, but uh, I do not, do not remember where exactly we went to to get to it. But we're very much getting to the point where we can do more of that kind of stuff. Get it done first as last. Yes. I agree wholeheartedly. Oh... There's not helping our villager farm, but quality of life stuff. We're going to have to do two more levels up, too, by the, before we really turn this into an ice boat road. Sloppiness. We're not even bother to finish the pathway. Man, I was lazy. Have a good work work ethic, chat. Don't, don't do as old Habage did. Old Habage didn't know what he was doing. here. Oh, this isn't even the same stuff. Maybe that's why I didn't finish it. Nah, well, it, it'll never really show. Uh, from above, as we go over it, it'll be ice blocks. And... Uh, Well, I think if we if we get to the point where we're like taking flight in the Nether and stuff like that, then uh, it'll be like 
14 sixteenths? I guess 7 eighths? Is that how much... I don't know how much that little edge of the block... Like, how much is that? Is that a sixteenth of a block? An eighth of a block? Whatever it is... See, now this is even higher. We're getting ambitious in this part. Fee! Oh, you got to have a nap? I'm a little jealous. Man, a good nap. I'm a terrible napper, but a good, a good quick nap? Ooh. Like, I... Uh, if I'm on, like, vacation or something, sometimes I will. Just because, like, oh, yeah, we're going to go, you know, go out to dinner and all that. And it'll probably be, like, out later after and all that kind of stuff. So I will often, uh, especially, like, a ski trip uh, where you're, like, working out and uh, getting tired. If you want to enjoy the, the vacation-y part of those trips, you got to do a little bit of it. And those are the ones where you got to just force yourself uh like a little 20, 30 minute power nap. Oh, that's good stuff. So welcome. I hope yours was fantastic. Was it three hours? Well, you'll be, you'll be happy to know. I couldn't remember how long you were here. You'll be happy to know we got uh, most of the guts of the farm done. And as far as I know, it's all set. Um, now we've just, we are on our way back. We went and got a bunch of rail stuff from the gold mine. Uh, so tomorrow we will be wrangling villagers, hopefully. Giving them lots of mine cart rides and all that. But we're going to have to figure out, do we just temporary dirt elevate the train or do we build that in and make that, you know, kind of like a decorative bit of the world? I don't know. And Fee, we're going back right now, so at least you can you can see how how arguably hideous the mall became. Uh, but my take on it is malls are are ugly, right? I don't like malls. I don't I don't think that they're little like, oh look, each store got all their their you know outside trim and all that kind of stuff there's still big concrete blocks but they always put like fake towers on them and stuff just to try to break up the uh the architecture a little bit i'm not even gonna do it guys i don't have time so we'll we will have to sort uh all the extra stuff that we got on our trip back out when we uh start up tomorrow but let's get here let's take a look bask in the glory. Oh, well, then you're going to miss the show, Fee. Sorry, dude. You got like two minutes of stream left, so don't be right back. Oh, oh, uh, here, we'll walk. There's the mall. <laughs> you can get down under the water. I, I guess I can't freeze it now. It's interesting. Who knew? Not me. There you go. We got a mall. It's glorious. Oh, and we got a skelly. I missed. Nicely. If a creeper comes, I swear. I'll cry. I don't want to cry. It's Friday. It's about to be Friday night. I don't want to be crying. So here we go. For anybody else, YouTubers or otherwise, that jumped forward and didn't get to see... Um, it's not my favorite, but I do think we'll probably do some signs. What are you doing? I killed a lot of your cave cousins. Jeez. Uh, so we got some some fake decorative towers. They got a little bit of lighting in them. Uh, we have job stations for six farmers, where we will hopefully be able to sell our pumpkins. Two butchers. Two Fletchers, and I think that's a good start, right? Those guys are all going to sell us stuff that we need to have. Uh, obviously, we already have our librarians, so we're not going to be getting super steel uh, prices on librarians. Um, you have to do a sign. I just, there's not enough room to put in the letters. 
I mean, I guess the only thing I could maybe do is do uh, what do they call it? like ASCII art? Is that what it was? When you'd like use characters in the keyboard, uh, like back. I was think of it as back on the old dot matrix printers, right? And like you'd you'd like type out a bunch of stuff, but if you use like the E key over and over and over and over again from a far enough distance, you'd lose that resolution. It would start to give you different shades and stuff on the the pictures. So we could maybe do uh, actual signs stuck to the walls. Um, like that. Uh, but I can tell you right now, we're not doing we're not doing map, map newspaper type stuff yet. That's cool, but we're not doing it for this build. Um, although that man, that's something I've never done. I would love to understand it, and it would be very cool to set our type. Um. Because I I love watching watching people do it on the maps. It's so cool, and basically you make a you know it's a huge terraforming deal, but you terraform the area of a map, and then that is your your tray. Like you think an old style printing press where all the type the individual letters got arranged, and then they would mash down the paper on it. Um, you do that, but you set it up so that that area of the map, like when we do the treasure maps and we walk around in the area, uh, you do that walk around on the, the area and your uh, your stuff can come out. So you can do that. It's just very grindy. But then you could frame maps uh, with letters, right? So you get, again, another amazing part of Minecraft that I've never, never really messed around with, but would love to. That would be a lot of fun. Um, I think you, I think I remember you saying that you were in D.C. How was it? Did you go to the National Mall? I've been there. I like D.C. I mean, I, I, would, I wouldn't ever want to work there for sure. Um... I mean, I'd never say never, right? I shouldn't say that because I am sure, like, I've had friends that live there and, uh, you know, I think they, they really enjoyed it. Um, but to me, it just feels like a vacation, right? You get to go see sh cultural stuff that you've got museums. There's always something to do around there. And uh, you're close to the, the ocean and all that. So, cool. A lot of graffiti. I can't, uh, when uh, my buddy lived just just on the edge, I don't know if he was in D.C. proper or in Maryland, but it was it was pretty sketchy part of because like big city, right? You, you live where you can afford to, and it was on the on the train stops or whatever, so you could get uh, get a train into the city or wherever you know for their commutes and all that. It was easy, um, and it was crazy. Like parts of it were beautiful, but like literally a half block down, you're like, yeah. You don't really go there after, like, you know, 10 o'clock at night. Best to just stay away. We'll go elsewhere. Kind of crazy. Um, but, hey, that's big city living. All right. We've got it. We're going to have to sort everything. Let's um, put this, which is why we went. That'll stay here. I think, I mean, we really don't need these, and I wish we could pull out the chests and just keep those as our mine carts. Uh, sadly, I don't think we can. Um, we can pull this stone and put a little bit of stone here just for having, all right? And then everything else is going to have to go home when we start up, but let's go... Oh no, 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 I gotta change my boots. I don't I don't know what that will do to my water elevator. I've never accidentally walked into it like that, but uh it can't be good. Air and space. Nice. Cool man. Yeah, are those both parts of the Smithsonian? I know Aaron. I know Smithsonian Aaron Space is. All 
All right. Um, it's not too bad. Let's do a quick. Thirty-nine, another uh, probably about the same as what we pulled out the last time, right? Because um, we went from twenty-nine to thirty-four, uh, then got the extra level fighting in the uh, mines and the Nether, getting back and forth and all that. But um, it's tougher to get those levels, right? <laughs> getting four is about like getting five was at the other side of the thirty. So it's pretty good. We're almost at forty. Um, no real rush to, to do anything, but at some point when we've got a bunch, we'll go back and uh, farm out the uh, enchants uh, for anything above 30, see if we can roll some books. When I showed my dad the Enterprise, he loves Star Trek. He said, big Enterprise, I want it. Uh, like the Enterprise aircraft carrier? I don't know what you're. I don't know what you're referring to there. Or is that the shuttle? Maybe it's the shuttle. I don't know what they have there. It's been a while since I've been there. Um, really cool though, dude. That sounds awesome. Well, not but not the Star Trek. It's a museum. The shuttle. Yeah, the retired U.S. space shuttle. Awesome, dude. I'm jealous. I'd, I'd love to be there. That sounds so cool. I hope I get to hear more about it. Uh, and I thank you for being here at the beginning and the end fee. That's fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, guys, I do have to run today. So uh, thank you so much for hanging out. This is going to be the end. We don't have skellies or creepers or anything to chop. We're just going to put the world safely to bed. YouTube, folks, you guys have been amazing. Keep up those awesome views. And remember, when you come by, say hi in the comments. Like uh, Nate said hi in the comments the other day shout out to you nate um you're you're awesome all you guys are awesome always appreciate you dropping by so take care and uh guys everybody have an awesome weekend friday night it's all fun uh well you may already be into saturday and where you're at but uh have a good time uh, when you do, though, particularly for folks in the U.S. or wherever you may have a long holiday weekend, be safe out there, all right? If you need to uh, pre prearrange your ride, I know tonight I'm going to go check some live music, get a burger, hang out with some friends. I don't think I'm going to be wrecked, but uh, I will uh, will be getting an Uber because I don't want to be that guy. Nothing bad, right? Just don't even take the chance. It's not that expensive. Anyway. You guys do the same. Take care of yourselves out there because I want to see you tomorrow when we get these villagers riding mine carts, filling up our villager mall. And we'll go from there. All right, guys. Thanks so much. It's been awesome. We'll see you for the next one. See you now.